In this video, we're going to continue our work with probability and look at the addition rule. The addition rule states that the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. And this is what we call the addition rule. We could look at this now, and from our work with Venn diagrams before, we could see that the probability of A union B was given as everything in the two ellipses or circles. So this is A union B. If we consider this now as two distinct regions, what we could have is the probability of A, which is going to be all of this, plus the probability of B, which is going to be all of this right here. What you can see, though, is that I've shaded the intersection twice. Therefore, if we want the probability of A union B, what we need to do is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus one lot of the intersection. We've just shaded two. We need to take one away. So that's a graphical representation using Venn diagrams. You won't be asked to show or prove that as such, um, but it might give you some idea of why it stacks up to give us this. A good result of the addition formula is that you can rearrange this and write it now as the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B and then minus the probability of A union B. And these rearrangements can help us solve a number of problems that we're going to come up against. What we're going to do briefly, and I'm going to spend more time looking at this in later videos, are mutually exclusive events. So mutually exclusive events can't happen at the same time. A good example would be with playing cards. You can't have a black card that's a heart. They are mutually exclusive events. And in terms of a Venn diagram, they're going to have no points of intersection. So if we just consider the following, addition rule for mutually exclusive events, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B and then what we're going to have is minus the probability of A intersection B. There's no intersection so all we end up with is zero. So we can say for mutually exclusive events the probability of A or B is simply going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B. And you may even take your mind back to year seven, year eight, year nine and remember, the probability of A or B is simply adding. We just add. If it's or, we add with probability. And that is just it joust up in S1 terminology. No intersection. So a probability of A or B is probability of A plus B for mutually exclusive events. We will come back to that later on. Um, it's important to stress as well, this can be used in um, alongside Venn diagrams. I like to use both. Sometimes I like to use the addition formula, sometimes I like to use Venn diagrams, sometimes I like to go the other way, and often I like to combine the two. What we'll do is look at a question and work for it and see where we go. So what have we got? Um, a and B are two events, probability of A is 0.5, probability of B is 0.2, and the probability of A intersection B is 0.1. We need to find A, probability of A union B, B, the probability of the complement of B, or B dashed, or not B, C, the probability of A intersection not B. And then D, the probability of A union not B. I like, we could, and I'm going to go two ways with this. We could just go straight for the addition formula. What I'm going to do though is just think logically about this. We know the intersection is 0.1. Now, if the probability of A is 0.5, we've already got 0.1. So what we need in this part just here is going to be 0.4. This one right here, we know that the probability of B is 0.2. We've already got 0.1 here, so this must be 0.1. All of this must be equal to 0.2. So in total, we got 0.6. The complement must be up to 1. All the sample space must be equal to 1. So what we're going to have outside is 1 minus the values here, which is going to give me 0.4. If you wanted to use the addition formula, what you could have said is the probability of A union B was the probability of A, which is going to be 0.5, plus the probability of B, which is going to be 0.2, minus the probability of A intersection B, which is 0.1. And you can see from that, you're going to get 0.6. So, first one, we're going to get 0.6. The next one, 
we want now the probability that it's not B. The probability that it is B is 0 0.2, so the probability it's not B, or B complement, or the complement of B, or B dashed, is going to be 0 0.8. The next one we want is the probability of A intersection not B. And we can use the addition formula for this. Alternatively, you can look at the Venn diagram. A intersection not B is all of this point right here. It's telling me that it's in A, but it's not in B. So that's going to give us now 0 0.4. The probability of A intersection not B is A only. OK, D. We've got now the probability of A union not B. You can do this with Venn diagrams and shading. Alternatively, what we can write is the probability of A union not B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of not B, then minus the probability of A intersection not B. And we've got all of this information here. We could have done that on the last one. I prefer just to look at a Venn diagram, but you can do it. So what we can state then is the probability of A union not B is going to be equal to the probability of A, which is going to be 0 0.5, plus the probability of not B, which we found to be 0 0.8, minus the probability now of A intersection not B, which we found to be now minus, so it's going to be minus 0 0.4. So from this, we're going to end up now with the following. We're going to have 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8, minus 0.4, which is going to give me now a total of 0 0.9. OK, so that's what we end up getting. Now, if we wanted to, if we wanted to shade this on Venn diagrams, and I'll quickly sketch them here, that region right there, and I'll do, I'll do three. We'll do two of putting it together, like we did in the last videos, and then we'll put it together all on one. So the, what we'll do on the first one now is uh, the probability of a okay so the probability of a is going to be all of this part right here the next one we'll do now the probability of not b and not b is going to be all of this right here so everything that's left over here which is going to be not b if we put the two together what we're going to end up with like we showed in the last video is the following we're going to have all of this and the only thing that we're not going to have is b only okay so this is what we end up with on our shading and you can see quite clearly that that's going to give us now on here the probability of A now or not B is all of the shaded and the only thing that we're missing is the 0 0.1 which means the rest must be 0 0.9. So if you want to do it now, let me just label that up, the probability of A or not B. Okay, and we know that this point is going to be 0 0.1, so everything around it must be equal to 0 0.9 to make up to 1. So there we go, that's the addition rule. And as stated, you don't need to, I suppose, show them this is just an additional bit. All we need to know is the probability of A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus one lot of the intersection of the probability of A or one lot of the intersection from that, and you can rearrange it. And for mutually exclusive events, although we'll come back to this later, the probability of A union B is probability of A plus the probability of B, that's the intersection is zero.